Hello, victorious ones. How are you doing? I hope everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. As I was over here preparing dinner, I heard clearly in my spirit, 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 45. Amen? And so I just came on here really quickly to let you know. 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 45. In the name of Jesus. And this is the word of the living God. David said to the Philistine, You come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day, verse 6, verse 46, this day, the Lord will deliver you into my hands and I'll strike you down and cut off your head. This very day, I will give the carcasses of the Philistine army to the birds and the wild animals and the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel. In the name of Jesus, verse 47, all those gathered here will know that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give all of you into our hands. And so I heard the Holy Spirit says, you come against me with, with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty. And so whatever it is that's coming against you, the Bible said Goliath was there mocking the people of God. He was there mocking them for, for, for a long time. And in verse 4, the Bible said a champion named Goliath, who was from Gath, he came out of the Philistine camp, and he was really tall. And it says that in verse 8, Goliath stood and shouted to the ranks of Israel, why do you come out and line up for battle? Am I not a Philistine? And are you not the servants of Saul? Choose a man and have him come down to me. If he is able to fight and kill me, we will become, uh, you, we will become your subjects. But if I overcome him and kill him, you will become our subjects and serve us. Verse 10, then the Philistine said, This day I defy the armies of Israel. Give me a man and let us fight each other. And the Bible says in verse 11, when, when Saul and Israel heard this giant, they were dismayed and they were terrified. But I'm letting you know that David, we are the Davids in the camp. And it says for 40 days, verse 16, for 40 days, the Philistine, the Philistine, he came forward every morning and evening and he took his stand for 40 days. This is what he was doing, tormenting the people of God, the children of God. And finally, David showed up in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. And David heard what he said. And see, we're praying attention. No more being harassed by these giants. These, these evil spirits have been coming against us. No more being terrified. It's time to face your Goliath in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in verse 23, as David was talking with them, Goliath, the Philistine, champion from Gath, he stepped out from his lines and he shouted his usual defiance. And David heard it. And this is what the Bible says huh? in verse 47. Glory to God. Glory to God. David said to the Philistine, it's time to look at every Goliath that's coming upon you and your household. Look him straight in the eye because I heard the Holy Ghost say, you come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty. The God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day, the Lord will deliver you into my hands. And I'll strike you down and cut off your head. This very day, I will give the carcasses of the Philistine army to the birds and the wild animals. And the whole world will know that there is a God 
in Israel. Amen, 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 amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Father God, we praise your name forever and ever. Hallelujah. And so we come in the name of the Lord. We come in the name of the Lord. Father, I thank you for being Yahweh Jireh. That is your name. The Lord God who provides for us. Father God, we have shown up today in your name. You are Yahweh. The Lord that healeth us, oh God. You are Yahweh Nisi, that's your name. The Lord our banner, your banner over us is love. And by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed, oh God. Father, I thank you for divine metamorphosis that's taking place, oh God, in our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that you are Yahweh Shalom. That is your name. Shalom is peace, prosperity, tranquility, and wholeness. You are the Lord our peace, oh God. Father, you are the exalted God. That's your name. You are the most high God, El Elyon. Father, you are the highest. King of kings, Lord of lords. You are the high one. Father, that is your name. You are the glorious one. Father of glory, King of glory, the Lord God Almighty, El Shaddai. Father, you are the Lord of hosts. Yahweh Sabiath, oh God, commander of the army of the Lord. You are a man of war. Father God, that's who you are. You are my strength, um, the eternal God, you are the awesome God, the mighty one of Jacob, I am that I am, you are Yahweh, ancient of days, you are the first and the last, the Alpha and the Omega, Father, that's who you are, the one who lives forever, the living God, you come against me with javelin and spirit, but I come against you in the name of the Lord, Father God, you are God our creator, the architect of my life, you are the builder, Father, you are the faithful creator, Father God, the faithful creator, you are my maker, you are my potter, Father, you you are the holy and righteous one. You are consuming fire. You are the father of the fatherless. Father God, I thank you. You are the glory, the strength of my life. Helper of the fatherless. You are the holy father. God of justice. Judge of all. That is who you are. Father, you are the judge of all judges. The supreme judge. You are the lawgiver. The light of Israel. The protector of widows. The defender of widows. You are the righteous father, the righteous judge, the righteous one. Father God, you are the Lord God our righteousness. Yahweh Tiskanu. You are the Lord who sanctifies us. You are Yahweh Amkadesh. You are the upright one. You are wonderful. You are king of the ages. That is your name, oh God. King over the whole earth. King, Father, that's who you are. You are the king, the Lord of hosts. Adonai Father, you are sovereign in the name of Jesus. And so we face every Goliath because our God is powerful, all powerful in the name of Jesus. Father God, you are my God and my King, the ruler, the ruler of all things. Father, you're sovereign. You are my dwelling place, my fortress. Your name is fortress. Your name is glorious sword. Your name is helper. Your name is hiding place. Your name is High Tower. Your name is Horn of my salvation. Your name is Keeper. Your name is the lifter up of my head. You are my song. You are my strength, oh God. You are my refuge, my rock. You are my stronghold, my very great reward. That's who you are. Lord God, my provider. You are my shepherd. You are my everlasting light. You are the God of Bethel. Father, you are El Roe, the God who sees us and you provide Yahweh Jireh. You are my healer. You are my help. You are my helper. You are my hope. You are my light. You're my spring of living water. Father, you're my fountain of living water. You are my son, the sustainer of my soul. The sustainer of my soul. The sustainer of my soul. You are my life. You are the Lord who's always there. You are Yahweh Shama. You are Abba. Everlasting 
everlasting father. You are the God of Abraham. You are the God of Isaac. You are the God of Jacob. You are the God of Israel. You are the God of my life. You are my husband. You are my gardener. You are the God of all grace. The compassionate and gracious God. You are the faithful God. God of truth. God of compassion. You are the forgiven God. You come against me with javelins and spear. I come against you in the name of the Lord. He is my comfort. God of all grace. God of all hope. God of all love. God of all peace. The gracious and merciful God. That is who I serve in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And so I release the fiery sword. I release the fiery stone. I release the fiery word against every Goliath that's coming against our marriages. Coming against our children. Coming against our bodies. Coming against our souls. Coming against our spirits. Coming against our finances. Coming against our ministries. I slay every Goliath. I chop off your head. I roast you with Holy Ghost fire. I bind every Goliath spirit and I cast you out into the abyss. But I release the blood of Jesus. I release the Holy Ghost. I set us free. I release the promises of God. I release God's angels to fight for us and minister unto us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I use the keys of the kingdom to unlock our blessings, but I dismantle every wickedness. I dismantle every witchcraft. I dismantle every poverty. I dismantle every racism. I come against you. I bind you, Satan. I bind and cast you out into the abyss. I destroy every demonic altar. I destroy every demonic sacrifices. I destroy demonic dreams. I soak us in the blood. We put on the whole armor of God and we stand and having done all to stand, we stand therefore victoriously in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that no weapon formed against us will prosper and every tongue that rises up against us in judgment we condemn in the name of Jesus. I roast every witchcraft. I pulverize. I destroy. I dismantle every witchcraft coven. Anything that's not of God. I dismantle you. I crush you. I kill your demonic powers. But I release the blessings of God and I set our families free. Hallelujah. You come against me with javelins. You come against me with spears. But I come against you in the name of the Lord. He fights my battles. He says stand still and see his salvation. The battle does not belong to me. The battle belongs to the Lord in the name of Jesus. And David said to the Philistine, you come against me with sword and spear and javelin. The, the, the swords have been coming against you. The spear and the javelin have been coming against you. But you have on the whole armor of God and your angels are in camp all around you. You are protected, protected. Psalm 91 is your birthright. Psalm 20 27 is your birthright. Psalm 109 is your birthright. In the name of Jesus, you come against me. You come against me. No weapon formed against me will prosper. But I come against you. In the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel. According to Revelation 19, all heaven is coming. Christ Jesus is coming with his angels on the horses and chariots to fight for the saints of the living God. No weapon form against us will prosper. We will not allow anybody to defy the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. And so we chop off the head of every Goliath and I decree and I declare that this is a week of great metamorphosis. Beautiful blessing, divine changes and transformation are taking place in our lives. Watch what the Lord is doing. Watch what the Lord is doing. In the name of Jesus, he said he's giving you benefits. He has empowered you. You have power on the inside of you. You have dunamis power on the inside of you. Watch what the Lord is getting ready to do for you. He shall open up the windows of heaven and pour down blessings upon you that you will have no room enough to receive it. The son of righteousness is all over you, over you with healing, 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 healing in its wings. Hallelujah. 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 Glory 
Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 The battle does not belong to us. The battle belongs to God. Hallelujah. And so we stand and we worship him in spirit and in truth, knowing that the victory is ours. When Christ died on the cross, he died so that we can be victorious. And he rose again and he is seated at the right hand of the Father. And we are seated together in heavenly places with Christ Jesus far above everything, far above everything, far above, hallelujah, the battle is already won, the war, Christ won, and we have the victory, in the name of Jesus, we always triumph, we always win, because of Jesus, because of Jesus, hallelujah, 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 fret not yourself, hallelujah, don't you worry, don't be anxious, the battle has already been won, in the name of Jesus, you are the winner, you are the winner, hallelujah, 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 glory to God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. In the name of Jesus, it is well. It is well with my soul. It is well with your soul. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. You come against me with javelin spears, lies. Whatever they're coming against us with, we come against the wicked. And we overcome them in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Most high. Most high. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. In the name of Jesus. Every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess. <sighs> Goliath bowed down. He didn't know he was getting ready to bow, but he had to bow. How dare you defy the name of the Lord? How dare you come against the children of the Most High God? Goliath bowed. Any Goliath in our lives must bow at the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Whether you do it alive or dead. And I'm talking about wicked spirits. I'm talking about spiritual warfare. In the name of Jesus, they must bow. Goliath, we release the stone in the third eye, in the pineal gland, in the middle of the forehead. You must deal with the head of that thing. You got to deal with the strong man. Bind the strong man. Cast them out into the abyss in the name of Jesus and then get the sharper than a two-edged sword word of God and cut off the head and then roast Goliath to ashes in the name of Jesus that, that's how we fight our battles in the name of Jesus it's spiritual the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds destroy every strongholds in the mind of your spouse you've been praying it's a stronghold you're dealing with spiritual things the deal with the strong men and the strongholds, the strongholds in your children, in the name of Jesus, every stronghold in the mind, you must ask God to flush out the mind, you must ask God for a metamorphosis of the mind, in the name of Jesus, you must ask God for a metamorphosis of the soul, hallelujah, ask God to restore their soul, ask God to set them free, you must ask God for angelic assistance, as you go forth, uh, because this battle is bigger than what you think. Uh, only God can fight this thing, and he's going to show us how to do what we need to do. It's a supernatural thing. Uh, go to God for, for instruction. Go 
to God for instruction. Go to God for instruction in the name of Jesus. He will show you the sins in the bloodline. He will show you what altars you must destroy. He will show you how to pray. He will show you what passage to read in the Bible. He will show you everything because it's a strategic warfare and the enemy likes to play games and he likes to outsmart people. But you know, when you go to God, God going to show you the root of that thing. The root, God going to shine the light upon it and expose, expose it in the name of Jesus. Expose you. Look, look for what God is showing you. He's showing it to you. You've been asking for answers. You've been asking God what it is. And God said, behold, don't you see? He's showing you. He's showing you what you need to see. Pray attention. Open up your eyes in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. And all you got to say, I come against you in the name of the Lord. Whatever it is, I come against you in the name of the Lord most high. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That's a weapon. I come against you in the name of the Lord by the blood of Jesus. Glory to God. Victory is mine. Victory is yours. Be blessed, victorious ones. That's all the Holy Spirit wanted me to say. You come against me with sword and with spear and with javelin. But I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty. The God of the armies of Israel. Whom you have defied. And in verse 46. This day the Lord will deliver into your hands. Those of you who are listening to me. You've been praying Goliath's been there for 40 days. That thing's been there for a long time. But on this day, God said this week is a week of metamorphosis and change, transformation. And so on this day, this is what the Lord is saying. He will deliver into your hands. He will deliver the enemy like into your hand. You're gonna you have the victory. You have the victory. The, this is the day the Lord will deliver everything into your hands. And you'll strike them down and cut off the head. David prophesied that. And then he went and executed it. He went and implemented it. God is getting ready to show you things in advance. So that you can have the upper hand. It says this day. He prophesied it again. He said this day. This very day. I will give the carcasses of the Philistine army to the birds and the wild animals and the whole world will know because it's about God getting the glory. It's about God getting the glory. The whole world is watching you. I mean, listen, people are watching you to see how it's going to work out, but it always work out in your favor. In the name of Jesus, it says the birds and the wild animals and the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel. There is a God in Israel. 47 and it says all those gathered here will know they will know it's about them knowing it's about them knowing knowing who knowing God God is mighty and so it says all those gathered here will know that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves for the battle is the Lord I need somebody to write that down the battle is the Lord's the battle is the Lord's. And so once we realize who, who the, ba the battle belongs to, and if it belongs to God, and you know it's all said and done, it's done, it's finished, it's all set. It's all set. For the battle is the Lord's. And what else? Not only is the battle the Lord's, he will give all of you, not just one of you, all of you into our hands. And as I'm reading this, I'm here in 2 Chronicles. Those of you who are following our podcast and you've already subscribed and everything, you know what we're doing for the month of October. But I just heard 2 Chronicles 20, and that's one of our verses. Well, that's one of our chapters, excuse me. That's one of our chapters in the name of Jesus. And so 2 Chronicles. Mm. Remember, the people were terrified of Goliath, the giant. But our God is the real giant. And I'm feeling really fired up right now. Because some of God's people been going through. And I, I just read about the, 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 the racial wealth gap between the different races. And that just got me all mad because it's so demonic. Where, where, where you have, oh, I mean, I think I already posted it. 
And those of you who didn't listen to the video, you need to go watch that. Let me show you how nasty the devil is. How nasty he is. Nasty, nasty little demons. This, this, this is one, 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 one study out there. One research. And I want you to, I want to show you that the enemy comes to kill, steal, and to destroy. And we got to make sure we're paying attention. It says in 2016, the median um, white household, they had $171,000 in wealth. Almost 10 times more than the median black household's wealth of only 17,600. And so, uh-uh, that's a, that's a demonic Goliath giant. And we take that down. Uh-uh, the wealth belonged to, 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 to God's people. And I know there are some righteous blacks. So there's no way we, our income is 17,600 at, at the median level. The thief has been caught. And he must give us back seven, seven times what he has stolen from us. And so I thank God for showing me all this wealth and money information so I know how to pray. Take down every Goliath. And so the people were afraid of Goliath. The army was afraid of Goliath, the giant. This reminds me of 2 Chronicles 20. It says that there was a, a war, there was waging war against Jehoshaphat. A vast army was coming, remember? And what's the first thing? What was his first reaction? His first reaction, he was afraid. He was afraid. And we got to deal with this fear. It's like, I'm afraid. I'm afraid that my marriage is not going to get better. I'm afraid my child won't change. I'm afraid that I won't be healed. No, no, no. God has not given us a spirit of fear. But of love, power, and a sound mind. And we got to walk by faith. And we have to be aggressive. We are, listen, we are militant. We are bold as a lion. The kingdom of God suffered violence. The violent ones, you better take it by force. And so King Jehoshaphat, they were, they were terrified about the vast army. But I love how God switched it up. You know how David said the battle belongs to the Lord? This is repeated in 2 Chronicles 20, verse 15. So after they were panicking and everything, the spirit of the Lord fell on Jehaziel. And he said, listen, King Jehoshaphat. So put your name there. Listen, Destiny. Come on. We're going we're to we're listen tonight. Listen. Listen. Open up your ears. Metam metamorphosis to our ears so we can hear what God is truly saying. And he said, listen. King Jehoshaphat and all who live in Judah and Jerusalem. This is what the Lord says to you. Y'all ready? This is what God is saying to you. Pray attention. Do not fear. Don't fear. Do not be afraid or discouraged. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army. You know what your vast army is. You know what you've been going through for the whole year. 2019. 2018. Do not be afraid. Number one. Number two. Do not be discouraged. Why? Because of this vast army. Why, 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 why God say don't be afraid of this big army. It's big. It's coming at you. Why God say don't be afraid and don't be discouraged. He said for the battle is not yours but God's. Thank you, Father God. That's the second time the Lord said that. He said it with David, and now he's saying it over here with King Jehoshaphat. And so God said, the battle is not yours. This battle belongs to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. And when you, when you read the whole thing, it says God gave him instruction. He said, tomorrow, this is what I want you to do. Verse 16, tomorrow march down against them. They will be climbing up the pass of Ziz and you will find them at the end of the gorge in the desert of Jeruel. Verse 17, you will not have to fight this battle. You will not have to fight this battle. Why? Why don't you have to fight the battle? God already told you. The battle belongs to him. He said, take up your positions. 
Stand firm. So this is what you're going to do. This is how you're going to fight. Because the enemy want to knock you down in the, in the boxing ring, want to knock you down. Remember we talked about that? Arise. Take your position. I mean, you got to stand. Get up from wherever you fell or fallen short. Stand up. Take up your position. Stand firm and see the deliverance the Lord will give you, Judah and Jerusalem. So he said, listen, remember? Now he's saying you're going to see. You better activate all your senses. You're going to see the deliverance the Lord is going to give you. Deliverance. God has given us deliverance in the name of Jesus. Where it looked like you wasn't being delivered. The situation was not changing. God said metamorphosis in the name of Jesus. He said go out to face them tomorrow. And the Lord will be with you. You come against me? Guess what? Guess, guess who's coming with me in the battle? God is with me. The Lord is with me. And then the Bible said they bow down and they worship God and they were so happy. And when you and, and then when you read the end of it, you see they won. They got the victory. They didn't he, they didn't have to fight at all. And so whatever you've been fighting, give it over to God. I'm talking about you've been going around the same mountain, dealing with the same situation. Give it over to God. Give it over to God. I believe with David. All the times he was praying and worshiping, making music, dancing. It's, it's like spiritual warfare. He, he, he was already slaying Goliath before he met Goliath. And so all the things that you've been doing. Remember God told us sometimes the praise that you prayed last year was for this year. Some of the praise you prayed five years ago was for this day. And so it, it, it's, coming, it's coming together. It's coming together and, and it didn't look like you was doing much, but every prayer that you were praying, th that was weapons being released in the camp of the enemy. And so, Father, I thank you that I don't have to fight my own battles. Father, you're fighting for me. I fight by using the name of the Lord. I fight by worshiping. I fight by fasting and praying, worshiping the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And I know I have the victory. I know. Do you know you have the victory? You got to know that you know that you have the victory in the name of Jesus. And I seal this message with the blood. Hallelujah. Be blessed. Be blessed, victorious ones. And I'll talk to you guys later.